Hey, I'm Pimple Pusher, and today I'd like to walk you through how I made my dragon skeleton scatter terrain without a 3D printer. So I started by getting some thin but sturdy cardboard and creating the basic shapes I wanted just using masking tape and then curving it gently with my hands where needed. You could use a lot of different things to make something that's vaguely spine shaped. I happened to have this piece of XPS foam left over that was about the right shape, so I hot glued that onto my ribs. To fill the cardboard in and give it some shape, I rolled up newspaper and masking taped it on in about the right places that I thought made it look a little bit more realistic, a little bit more dragon. From there, I played around with bits of wire, newspaper cones, masking tape, whatever I had around to try to make a few different horns just to give it a little bit of personality. Once you've added bulk where you want it, you can go ahead and use newspaper and a mixture of water and flour to paper mache your piece. This is a messy process, but it'll add a lot of structure and create one hard shell instead of you know lots of bits and pieces. And you can follow this exact same process with your ribs as well. Be sure to let your paper mache dry all the way and optionally you can brush over with another layer of Mod Podge to just give it a little bit of extra solidity. Next up is painting and you can go ahead and spray paint your things for better coverage if you haven't used any foam. I recommend it. I got three coats in before I remembered that I could just do that and it was so much easier. After the base coat, it's of course time to dry brush. I went with a little bit of a tan and a gray, uh, just really lightly and that worked for me. The very last thing I did was make some teeth out of XPS foam, paint them to match the skull and then hot glued them into the mouth to help prop it open. And I gotta say, I'm really happy with the finished result. It's easy to take on and off of the terrain. I can make it, you know, semi-playable it gives exactly the vibe I was going for. So let me know what you think in the comments. Is this a good solution for people who don't have 3D printers but still want dragon graveyards in their games? For me, I think it'll work great, but I'm curious to see if it'll work for other people. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.